In the white room with backlighting, I was vlogging. It seriously looks like I'm in a makeup commercial. Hello, today on Mary Doodles, I'm going to teach you how to not suck at looking good. Step one, soft, soft lighting. <laughs> No, but seriously, uh, today I'm going to show off my luxuriously recently washed hair. Sean Connery shed as he flipped his gorgeous locks over his shoulder. Just washed my hair, so things are looking up for me. If you take away anything from these Vedas, uh, know that when life gives me lemons, I just don't shower. <laughs> I think I just slept eight hours. I, I wanted to say that I slept a really long time, but then I just did the math and I just slept the normal time. Maybe that's why I'm feeling so good. Hey, guess what the title of this video alludes to? Questions and answers. You ask questions, I ask answers. Oh, I gotta work on this. Hi there from Costa Rica says greetings and asks if I have any family members who also have artistic talents. My mother used to sketch and draw and I did find one of her line drawings of a flower. It was really good. My dad is more business and right, no, left brained, right brained or left brained. I forget because I'm the creative side brain. He's the organizational one. My sister plays piano fantastically. She can hear a song and then like filter it out through her hands. And my little brother is a entertainer, dancer, things that get him attention because he's the little brother, but he's really good at it. And uh, he's very much a people person. Wappy, I feel really racist saying that. Wappy asks, how did the Chicago fire really start? Hashtag burning questions. Slapping my knee. These are pajama pants. If you're familiar with the Great Chicago Fire of the 1870s, the legend goes, Mrs. O'Leary had a cow in her barn that kicked over a lamp, caught the barn on fire, started the Great Chicago Fire, which burned a lot of things. I think it's common knowledge that that's a complete legend, and what really happened was aliens. Ella Smithers, I hope you're related to that Smithers, probably not because that's a cartoon, asked how did you develop your style and do you believe that taking inspiration from someone else's style isn't copying, is or isn't copying? Uh, I definitely developed my style by working off of what other people did and what I liked from it. I think every artist in every category of the arts, music and writing included, takes from those that they admire. There's definitely a difference between copying somebody's work blatantly and taking elements from someone or multiple people and applying it to your own work with your own twist. That's the key. When you're copying, you know you're copying. You feel empty and hollow on the inside. Your fingernails start to get really long. You thirst for blood. Science. Epic rap battle warrior asks, what is your favorite project that you've done? What influences you? Favorite project? It's a tough question. Feel like Time Bomb was a favorite project. Also the Hitler and Carbonite. I really want to say these, but when I think back to the in progress moments, I was like, Bleh. I think those are like my favorite projects looking back though. Those are the ones that while I was making them, I was just angry and mad and like, this isn't working. I don't, I want to be doing anything else but working on this. And it turns out I was enjoying it. So what influences me? Hmm. Music, other artists, movies. Movies really influence me and now TV shows because TV shows are getting awesome. Jackie B, coffee or tea? Uh, why do you ask the hard questions? Some days are coffee days, some days are tea days. Today I am opening with a barley tea. It's actually a uh, brewed barley with carob and this one's hazelnut and like all these other flavors. It's caffeine free, but it has a very coffee-like consistency. This is my surrogate coffee. And finally, Paige asks, when did you decide to go into the field of art? And what would you say to somebody who says that it's a useless profession? I decided to go into the arts probably somewhere in high school after years of people saying, you're so good at art. And I became the girl who draws. I knew I was gonna be doing something related to the arts. I ended up going to film school. I think when I actually went into the arts and started working as an artist was when I really needed money 
And to somebody saying that art is a useless profession, oh, what do you say? I guess you show them more so. All right, look at your smartphone. Look at your smartphone that you spent a lot of money on right now. And look at all the little apps on it, all those little icons. Those were designed by graphic designers who are artists. Looking at books, all these covers of books, those labels, you watch TV, there's like graphics flying at you. That fabric, there's a really cool fabric over there. That design was made by an artist. There's a lot of things made by artists out there. You just have to look at it. I don't know, sometimes the more unnoticed a job is, the more useful it tends to be. I mean, if you think of like all the people doing the dirty work out there, you don't even think about that. You don't even notice. I feel sometimes it goes the same way for people doing the beauty work and the creative stuff and the arts. If anybody ever tells you that art is a useless profession, throw your egg sandwich at them. That's my advice. Join us tomorrow when I show you how to remove your nose and replace it with your best friends. <laughs> Bye, love ya.